Brunei, it's the only sovereign state completely on the island of Borneo. It is located on the north coast of Borneo and it is cornered and split in two by the Malaysian state of Sarawak. The nation of Brunei, the adobe of peace, think dry country. It is a tiny oil rich sultanate that is slightly smaller than the state of Delaware. It is governed by one of the wealthiest monarchs in the world, Hassanal Bolkiah, the living link in a dynasty of sultans stretching back 600 years. One of our goals during our one night visit to Brunei was to visit Kampong Ayer, the largest water village in the world, where nearly 10% of the entire population of Brunei live in the water village. All of the buildings within the village are constructed on stilts above the Brunei River. The water village is made up of smaller villages linked together by more than 29,000 foot bridges consisting of over 4,200 structures connected by 36 kilometers of boardwalks. People have lived in Kampong Ayer for over 1,300 years. It is known as Venice of the East. While from a distance it may look like a slum, it actually enjoys modern amenities, including air conditioning, satellite TV, internet, plumbing, and electricity. The nation's definitive monument is the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque. It was built by and named after the 28th Sultan a symbol of the Islamic faith. This mosque dominates the skyline of Bandar City Begawan. It was completed in 1958, one of Asia Pacific's most beautiful mosques. It stands 171 feet high and its most recognizable feature is its dome, which is covered in pure gold. Brunei, like Costa Rica and Central America, is beginning to value, or understand rather, the value of ecotourism. Three quarters of the country's landmass is covered by virgin rainforest. Because of this, Brunei can claim the highest proportion of primary forest of any country in the world. Palm oil plantations are rapidly encroaching on the last remnants of logged and deforested areas primarily in the northern part of the Borneo island. The province of Sabah is in fact the third largest palm oil producer in the world. The population of the proboscis monkey continues to decline since they are mainly confined to peat and freshwater swamp forest, mangrove forest, lowland forest. The habitats which are most threatened in Borneo because of logging and conversion of land for agriculture. The proboscis monkey can only be found in Borneo and its numbers have dropped by up to 80 percent over the past 30 years. Its conservation status is endangered with a total estimated population varying widely from a low of 7,000 to a high 20,000. Brunei has the highest concentration of the proboscis monkey. So, Diana and I set out to find them and see them in the wild. The forests of Borneo are home to some of the world's most interesting and unusual primates. Thirteen different primates inhabit this island. Few primates, however, are as bizarre or charismatic as the proboscis monkey, Nasalis larvatus. The proboscis monkey is a highly specialized colubine 
and the largest in the group, with males weighing as much as 50 pounds. Two features make this an unmistakable species, its bizarre pendulous nose, and secondly, its outrageous pot belly. Colobines are primarily leaf eaters and have a specialized multi-chamber stomach which contains a cocktail of bacteria that helps ferment and digest the foliage. Yummy! The proboscis large noses can act as excellent snorkels for swimming, an activity this primate excels at. Also, very interesting for scuba divers and free divers, is that they can swim up to 66 feet underwater. Very impressive. Interestingly, interesting to note that the males have bigger noses than females, so natural selection would state that size matters. Proboscis monkeys have partially wet feet, allowing them to leap spectacularly across narrow river channels. Other times, they enter the water on foot, walking across with their hands held aloft until the water becomes too deep and they're forced to swim in a doggy paddle fashion. They have also been seen to slide quietly into the water and swim across an Indian file with no noise and no splashing. A winning strategy to avoid the attention of their main predator, the crocodile. However, crocodile is no match for men. <laughs>